Good morning, folks. This color diagram shows the deficit of vegetation this summer due to U.S. drought. A little something different on the records front, Mr. Dave J420 sent us this, a city in the U.S. breaking cold records. You might remember we await the meeting of these alleged ship trails, contrails, whatever they're calling them, with the hurricane moving north off the coastline. I've heard folks say they're going to strengthen this thing and slam it into California. I think it looks like it's weakening. Another day may tell the story. There was volcano activity in Indonesia this morning, along with a large five-point quake that is not on this map for some reason. 2,000 people had to be evacuated in India due to flash flood, not quite as bad as the 80,000 evacuated this past weekend 700 miles to the east. Moderate quake hit off the Honduras coast. Three lines below you see Guatemala got dinged as well. Showing you the USGS crappy map because RSOE also did not put these on here. The northeastern Caribbean is active this morning and those are visible. Yesterday, when I said it might take a while to settle down geomagnetically, I did not think it would take this long. You can see the yellow and orange solar wind speed and density settled respectively, providing the conditions for easing and stability. But the density rose again slightly this morning, kicked the pressure back up a notch to unsettled levels here on the KP index, and the red above the blue shows that we never really recovered to the point where solar plasma was not breaking through our shield. Compared to recent sunspots, this is almost a cute little bugger. She got a bipolar jumble of nonsense, however, here on the magnetogram that actually has me thinking beta gamma classification. That dark corona hole is pretty, but watch behind. The little bugger's got a big bite. Let's hope that was all the eruptions it had as it turns in to face us. We zoom out a bit. That corona hole still has about a day away from being center disk. If you've been with us a while, you know how the quake watches work. In two days, Mars will oppose Uranus same day as we have a new moon. It gets really interesting the rest of the year. Yesterday, I showed you a few book titles. Here's just a few. A word of caution, these are guidelines, not scripture. You will be able to quickly dispel some of their purported patterns, and others you might not. Quake watches in effect, folks. That's the news. Be safe.